Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya sa'ala ko haloyim la. Ya wa ba'ashim ya wa shai ba'ashim. Rekha double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And hey, this is something that our apostle go into all the time, man, talking about the so called black woman. Hey, we love the so-called black woman, but underneath these curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, hey, I'm with the apostle when I say it's not even wise, man. They even, I mean, they, they, it, our women are so hard to deal with. They're super hard to deal with, man. I've been saying all work, no reward. But anyway, check this out. You know they they be you already know they mad at this nigga. Hey, hey, they 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 ready for this nigga to stroke, you know, to, to croak like Kevin Samuels so they can clink champagne glasses together it says rapper sauce walker announces he won't date black women white women understand teamwork <laughs> hey that's a major thing hey that's a thing hey that, that's what real so-called black men really want man you know they they want a woman that's gonna know their role let that nigga play his role the teamwork is there hey with with teamwork you win championships no teamwork, no championships, man. I prefer to win championships. But anyway, let's get, let's get, it's a few videos. <laughs> this is for educational purposes only. And I'm going to grab a scripture or two. Not going to keep it long because he definitely going in. Then here you go. You got this guy, Chris Evans. Of course, you know, you're going to have them simps. And what he says is, so black women won't allow themselves to be doormats is what, he, what I'm hearing. See, the man said, uh, 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 you know, he, he. So-called black women don't they, they they don't they're not team players, man. I mean, he has that that option to to, <laughs> to go the route that he's going, man, just like any other man has. But when I tell you though, it's difficult. It's super difficult, man, being out here with the so-called black woman these days, man. It really is. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, let's just be real. I mean, you even have red pill so-called black women on, on YouTube be going in on other so-called black women. So don't get me wrong, it's not like you can't find a, a nice little little so-called black woman, but man, it's, ooh, ooh, them curses, man. They go so hard on us, it just make you not want to even fuck around. Okay, but it says popular Texas, Texas rapper, Sauce Walker tries to explain why his preference is to date white women versus black women. They are more open to, they are more open to it being a business relationship and accepts my lifestyle of having multiple women. That's another thing. Black women aren't open to teamwork and not being the only and not being the only woman. And that's true. The so-called black woman, she ain't trying to hear that shit. Talking about but but that's that's a part of our culture. That's a part of us, you know, when when we go back into rulership, that's coming back in a big way. Let me get this real quick. That Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our our reproach that's coming back in a big way that's coming back in these last days man in a big way we'll see how it works out it's gonna come a point where all that shit that the women been talking and that goes for all women nations of women but especially the so-called black women it's gonna get so fucking bad out here that they're just going to be like, <laughs> or that standard, hey, when there's no Instagram, when there's no Snapchat, when there's no TikTok, there's no YouTube, there's no, when all that shit kaputs and shit is all in chaos, these women going to be wishing they had a man, trust me. All that I don't need a man shit, watch how, how things work out. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the guy. And like I said, again, it's for educational purposes only. Not sure how long this video is. Well, let's get this one. Get straight into it. Let's see. I, uh, let's see how long the video is. Actually, yeah, I, want to get it I like. I love all girls, all nationalities. Florence is my favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite. They got the best attitude and make the most money and make the most power. Okay, that video. He said them farms are his favorite. And hey, you know, hey. 
man. Look, you so-called black women, man. Y'all kind of y'all brought this one on yourself, man. But but actually though, I mean, it, it, it's a part of the curses of doing around the twenty-eight. It's all a part of you know what Yahweh about Shemiah was shot done to us. You know, just got to put it straight and plain because of you know us not listening to him as men. He basically showed us through our women because there's a there's a a, a, a let's get this real quick. There's a um, order to this thing. Let me see. There is an order to this thing. Oh, yeah, that's 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. So there's, there's your order. You have the Father, the Most High, which the world ignorantly calls all these different names. His name is Yahweh. Which means that he exists or he or he is to be. Then next in line of the order is Yahweh Shai, his son, that he sent our Savior, our King. Yahweh Shai is next in order. Then there's the man. Then there's the woman. And then there's the children. In this society, you have the damn children in a lot of the cases. Then the women. <laughs> or it's the women. Then the children, you know. But mainly the children, the women, they're above the man. The uh, You know, the man is out here acting as if they're above Yahweh Shai. You know, and of course, you know, Yahweh Shai and, and, and Yahweh, they're not with that, man. That that man, woman, and child thing being out of order like how it is, that's a part of those curses, man. And that makes, and see the so-called white man, he slid them, slither in, the snake, the damn devil slithered in and put our women, just weaponized our women against us, man. For real, they, I mean, you go out in public, I mean, I got a motto when I go out in public, man. I try and avoid so-called black women. I try and, I try and avoid them and the so-called white people. That's it. <laughs> Straight up. I, I don't like to, you know, I like to just go in, purchase what I'm going to purchase, do what I have to do. And if I can avoid a so-called black woman on, at a, as a cashier, I does it at all costs, man, because it's just a terrible experience most of the time. I'm not saying that all of our women are like that, but most of the time it's a horrible experience running across the so-called black woman out in public, especially when it comes to services and shit like that. It's, it's terrible. Now, they'll cheese, smile, and, 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 and go all out of their way to make the so-called white man feel great. But when it comes to the so-called black man, you sit, sit and watch it sometimes if you think I'm lying. Go to a restaurant and see how a so-called black waitress act to a so-called so white couple as, a, as opposed to a so-called black couple. And especially when it comes to just so-called black men alone. When so-called black men are alone, just pay attention to how a so-called black woman would treat a so-called black man as opposed to a so-called white man when, we're, when, they're, when you're out in public, just with services. For real. <laughs> Straight up. It, 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 it's, it's horrible treatment. But let me just go back. Let's get some more. Here's another video he, he has right here. women just like black men experienced and went through a thing called broken parenting broken homes and i mean you really i mean you know salakia you can't it's so hard to take 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 him serious with them goddamn um them kids uh uh i forgot what them things was called when you plait the baby hair the, the, the little girl hair back in the days you know, and you put the little bobs on their head and shit. You know, it's kind of hard to take, take him serious. But, I mean, he talking real talk. when they, Hey, but that, that's his preference. That's what he wants. He, he, he chooses to be with so-called white women over so-called black women. He says it's more of a business transaction. They're more down to get down with what he really wants. And, and men really, you know, men know that they, they, they you know, are, are it, it's just something within our spirit. We know that we're supposed to have multiple women. That's the reason why you got all this so-called cheating going on. You're never look if if you're a woman that's listening to to this lesson. Hey, look, a, a, a man is gonna always be checking out another woman, always. It, it's just in them to do it. They may say that they they don't, you know. And and, and men and turn into such fucking simps is retarded, man. They'll do anything to not leave a woman. They'll do anything for her to not leave him. Rather, so like, let me switch that up. But well, let's check the guy out again. Let's see here. This is one. Um, this nigga out here. He got a. <laughs> he got the so-called white woman out here.
putting lotion on him and shit. You think the so-called black women gonna do some shit like this? Uh-uh, nigga. Anyway, we don't need to see no more. But I tell you what, the, it, 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 the so-called, she might do it for him at the house. She ain't gonna do no shit like this out in public like that. You know? And not that I would want no woman to do nothing like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is our hard. And he got multiple so-called white women. He said them foreigners is his, is his favorite. But see, our women, they get pissed with this shit. You, I mean, you know, it's... I feel them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like how we feel when we see a so-called black woman with a so-called white dude. But what can we do, man? We're in captivity. You know? We're in captivity and we're fucked up as a people. But let me just read what he was saying. Because, you know, video went really super loud. I think this one down here still playing. Let me... Yeah, she oiling the boy up, man. Trying to pause that shit. All right, anyway. Yeah, you know people pissed. You know these, they pissed about this. Rapper Sauce Walker is, is back talking to anyone that will listen. And once again, he's reiterating that he doesn't like black women. In a new interview, the Houston rapper shares that his preference is to date white women versus black women. They are more open to being in a business relationship and accepts my lifestyle of having multiple women. Black women aren't open to teamwork and not being the only woman. You know, black woman, she wants you all to her goddamn self. And then, I mean, that ain't even, even enough. Because niggas is some of the biggest simps out here. And, 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 and she'll go out and find her nigga on him because he's too soft. Says he's often on the internet showcasing white women lotioning his body or participating in his OnlyFans movement. Sauce is known for his views on black women and has stated in the past, I'm, a ri I'm, I'm rich for real. I got white bitches who wash my dishes, clean my clothes. You can't get that out of a so-called black woman really these days. Come on, let's just be real. And dry my body off when I get out of the shower. Or oh, you can forget about any of those types of things from the so-called black woman. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hell no. She, if she get up from the phone and do some shit like that, you got a real one. It says, um, every interview, he expresses his disdain for black women who won't get in line with his views and denounce them for foreign women, which he prefers. When asked if he would date, ever date a black woman, Sauce honestly replies, I love black women and would fuck a black, uh, a black bitch. So like you for the language. I'm just reading it verbatim. But no, I wouldn't date them. Says while he has nothing against black women, Sauce says his preference to only date white girls is a good di a business decision because he catches everyone's attention with the relationship. Oh, uh, yeah. OK. I don't know why he want that type of, um, you know, especially out there in good old Houston. It's, I think they got on um, what they got white slavery laws out there, I think, still. As to why he won't do business with black women, Sauce, whose real name is Albert Walker Mundane, reasons that black people don't value teamwork. Watch below. Thoughts. OK, so that was, you know, pretty much the interview he's having with this guy. And I mean, he's making some some valid points, man. You know, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to keep this lesson long, but let me grab this. Um, Just go off into the curse, man. That's the reason. I mean, it's, we we gonna come back into play, you know. We're gonna be back in style again. You, hey, <laughs> just hang on, you so-called black man. We're gonna be back in style again, and we're gonna have some of the, you know, what you call them baddies, the baddest so-called black women in the world, man. Not fussing, fighting, and bickering over us, you know, with the next woman. That jealousy and all that shit gonna be played. We're gonna go into our kingdom. Everything is gonna be of righteousness, and they're gonna be back in the right state of mind. And we're going back to our old cultures, man. But here in the Americas, psh, cut it out, man. <laughs> cut it out. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Now, this is just one of the curses, man, that's on us as a people. No, um, 56. It says, and the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of husband of her bosom and towards her son and do, and towards her daughter she, she's not only wicked towards the man she's wicked towards the children straight up man i mean it, i mean come on man we talking about we're the only race of people on the planet with women that'll have five six seven eight baby mamas i mean baby daddies that's 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 horrible that's horrible And be bragging about that shit. Live by it. 
a fool stamp you out, <laughs> a child support your ass out, hey, and, and, and give you all types of hell. All kinds of hell, man, even dealing with trying to even visit your children, man. It is all work, no rewards, and I can see why the Apostle Tahar be saying what he be saying, man, about, and even, um, what's that, Apostle Rakah, he be talking about that. Big Shirley's and, and, and Keisha and uh, out here in the streets just fussing and scrapping and talking all kinds of shit loud as hell. Motherfucker got a pistol on him like they a nigga. Shoot at your ass like it's nothing. Come on, man. It's, it's all work, no reward. For real, for real. I mean, it's tiresome, man. Being, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like you just, it's like a bill. Motherfucker, and, and, and one of the most expensive bills. You know, when you're paying a bill, you at least want to get, you know, shit, when I pay the cable bill, uh, you know, with the internet, I'm looking for good internet service. I don't want my shit to be buffering, man. <laughs> you know, all month long, I'm calling the cable company about I done paid this expensive ass bill and my shit not coming through right. What's good? Then it's always some, some, you know, I mean, you know, and then what, what you going to do? You spending good money. What you shit, the shit don't work. You're going to, you're going to switch companies. You're going to switch companies. You're going to get with a company that's faithful to what the fuck they talking about. Oh, you're okay. Hey, I'm out. I'm on, you know, Sprint not working out. I'm going to Verizon. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. I'm just, you know, kind of joking a little bit, but you know, Hey, it is what it is with that, man. You can't be upset with this guy. You can't be mad with this guy. And like I said again, this simp right here, look at this guy right here. This simp, Chris Evans. So black women won't allow themselves to be a doormat is what I'm hearing. That's what he's hearing because he's a fucking simp. Don't sound like no doormat to me. Sound like a nigga got money. He's a, And you know what? Well, hey, that, that's the reason why a lot of us are not respected because we don't have that power like that. That money brings power. Women respect power. He's like, because when you have your own shit like that, it's my way or the doorway. You got some rich simps out here, you know. You got some 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 rich ass simps out here, but you know, we, you know, what, what's this nigga that's with Sierra? You're like a Russell, you know. It's some niggas out here like that. Cause me personally, you know what I'm saying. If I had the type of bread that he had, and was doing what he's doing, nah, I'm not. Ain't gonna be no. I'm no. I, I ain't dealing with no motherfucking baby mamas. Hell no. I don't give a fuck how bad she is. There's too many other nice looking chicks out here, man. That's on a dolo single. And I got to deal with another, and you got a baby with another weirdo, just wicked ass nigga. I got to, hell no. But see, you got a lot of simps out here like that, man. Dealing with too much bread. You out here dealing with millions, man. Millions and millions upon millions of dollars. And you will take in a fucking, a chick with, 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 with another nigga's baby that you know is toxic. Not to say that you know they shit. I don't mean to talk about their relationship like that. I'm just using it as an example as to, uh, you know. I wouldn't play it like that if I had that kind of money. No, ain't it's gonna be some too many single bad bitch chicks out here, man, for that. To be dealing with that. So, you know, but Yeah, anyway, you get it. This guy right here is a simp, man. Cause this man ain't said nothing out of the way. He said he would deal with the woman. He didn't gave you the he gave you the the excuse as to why he just don't deal with him and he's telling the truth. This nigga probably grew up in a single family home with his mama. That don't have no respect for his ass. If he got a little bit of cash, mama gonna run you down, man. Every single time. Anyway, though, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me on Shola.